Looked like a bodybuilder. You'd be like, okay, you know, there's a lot of those. But this yeah, guy moves yeah. like a cat. Um, but again, this, you know, Mackie Patolo is one of these guys where if you ain't got it together for the whole mm. fight, you're going to be in trouble. From mm. our vantage point, Bauman is flowing and floating. Yeah, the height too, man. I, the reach. Yeah. I love that float. We, we were talking about... Um, Faints and mm -hmm. sort of the narrative of nonstop faints, and, and but different faints like this floating and moving differently, unpredictably. That can actually be much more effective than just a bunch of oh man, yeah, bunch of fake jabs, right? Agreed. Ooh, Ooh. rear hand stab. Ooh. Being, we talked about it a little bit already tonight, and some of these fights being unorthodox can be really good, but it can make you defensively liable. And if you are against Mackey, smart. yeah, very smart. Smart of Mackey to get inside. Yeah, you're looking at all this nonsense this giant is presenting <laughs> to you. You're like, how about I put him on his ass? Yeah. Yeah. I think I will. Yeah, I think I will. And then uh, Joel's uh, like, okay, then I'll get up, and Mackey's like, and then I'll take you down again. Oh, wow. That's athleticism. Literally yeah. Yeah. spun his way out of it. Ooh. Ooh, great nice. lead hook over the shoulder. Mackey said, or um, Joel said he wanted to, uh, like, nuke the internet with with the finish that he presents tonight. Mm. I mean, he's going to nuke the internet with these shorts. Yeah, that's true. That's true. I like it. <laughs> I'm a, hey, gold's my favorite color. Yeah. Speaking of gold, how about Ray Supremo gold? Yes. Well, I don't Too know much? yet. I'm Too much? <laughs> no, we appreciate them. We do. Coming through for us and being a part of this. A big part of it. Jorge stole my bottle, though. Yeah, so. well, I know. He's the boss. This is all still smart by Mackie Patolo here. Yeah, because you know what you're down, not, yeah. what isn't happening? Not getting punched in the face by the Yeah, table, you're not right? having to deal with those long legs yeah. and long arms and crazy dance battle yep. flow state. Yep. Bauman, you know, when you work this Kimura as a sweeping mechanism from here, usually it's because it works for you a lot. And here you see he doesn't need it and he gets to the back. Yep. Pe people don't just pull that one out unless it really is a tool that they use more effectively than everybody else in the gym, right? For sure. And you know the two training partners you got that, oh, God, they got that again. That's yeah. going to be hard. Yeah, right? yeah. <laughs> yeah absolutely. Like he's that guy. Oh, oh, man. That one dropped. And that's, he's that guy who need you or, or struck you in the groin. <laughs> Don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. Mackie's just going to process that a little bit. And you see right here, deep breaths, stay focused. Every variable can affect you, right? Of course. You, you know? If you've never been, and, and you know, 10 fights into it, he has. But the first few times that, that a ref separates you, you want to be the one controlling your thoughts. You want to be choosing what you think. Mm. It is a glancer. Sometimes those are bad, Kayla. The old glancing knee. Yeah? Yeah. I'll take your word for yeah, it. They, they I are. believe you. Let's go! Bowman at distance is a scary dude. Agreed. Little, little jitter before he went in. Can be effective. What a difference between the two of them. That's one I of know. The I was just yeah. thinking about that. Like, I, that's one of the things yeah. that is so cool about MMA. You know, yeah. you can be in the same weight class and be totally different and just stylistically Ooh. size, you know, height, background, everything. It's just like. Yeah. Mm. Uh, it, and even in the choices of techniques, Bauman is a, is a creative individual, so he's using different things. Mackie Patolo puts the fun in the fundamentals, meat mm. and potatoes, you know? Uh, hard punches, low kicks, committed to the, to the, to the truth in yep. fighting, you know? Yep. Both are true. But Mackie will have some real veteran tricks that you won't know. Even if you study them, mm. he'll change them up a little bit, right? But uh, one answer to that is long, long strikes. Bauman oh, digs the right knuckles. Get 
I'm pretty sure that Bauman's not even sweating no. yet. No, he's just, he's doing art, you know? I know. He's doing violent art. What the hell? Oh! Nice. That rear left, those big knobby knuckles of the left hand. When they hit bone, man, they hurt. Look at the face already. Yeah, I mean, I think that uh, Patola's got to go back to getting on the inside. Yeah, you know? and he, he is. Was, there he's go. doing exactly what Kayla Harrison told him to do. <laughs> I'll take over. Coach Kayla, good work. <laughs> Robin Black, Kayla Harrison, co-main event. Just nearing the end of round one, a beautiful round of combat. Two individuals fighting, expressing themselves in through nice. combat. Ooh, Ooh. They're turning kick. Hopefully with no damage, you know, taken. Ray Supremo, the king of tequila. Bauman, Patolo, Kayla Harrison, Robin Black. Game bred, bare knuckle, the most violent show on earth. Home main event, two very different combat artists expressing themselves <laughs> through their violence. Those fundamentals, those beautiful fundamentals of Patolo. Yeah, that's what you do when somebody's showing you different feints, showing you things that are not within range to try to trick you, kick them in the leg. Use your long weapons. Yep. Stay outside of what they're doing with that. Make it redundant. Bauman landed an open hand strike as he retreated. If if he's feeling that range and that rhythm now, it'll be it'll be a, a closed fist left hook while retreating soon. Or a jab. Those jabs from low are so hard to deal with. They really especially are. when they're long. Oh. Yeah, he's so unorthodox. And yeah. I mean he's just like the body type, all yeah. it's kind of really hard to get a Yeah, there ain't others like what's him. What's the answer? There, there's you one know? of him. Right. And what do you tell tell them, you know? What do you tell Patolo? Other than let's stay strong on our fundamentals and be as patient as we can. Bauman now firing through the middle. I mean, I tell him big trees fall hard. Yeah, yeah. Some of that is really where he's at. You, you just need to keep him confident enough to believe in his, in his fundamental tools. But Bauman's having a great fight. He's coming on. Yeah, no, he's, he's in his own right now. And you know, sometimes these guys who, who whip their punches like a towel, like you're whipping your little brother or your little sister with a <laughs> towel when you're a kid. That's how Bauman throws. And they rip, the knuckles yeah. tear the flesh. Like when you bring a towel with the tip dipped in water. That hurts. <laughs> yeah, no, for sure. Not as much as this does. Yeah, you're, you, but I'm just looking at the yeah. face of Masha yeah. Tolo right now, and it is, um, yeah. you know, that's, it's not pretty. It's because of the elasticity of the whip of the yeah. punches. It's like putting your knuckles on there, on the end of a, of a rope, and then flicking them. Yeah. You know? He heard him there. Yeah, he heard him. He's going to answer oh, with the right geez. hand. But Tolo's oh. got to answer with the right hand. No, he's done. Uh, he's done. Uh, he's done. Uh, look at this man. Look at that. I don't even think he's sweating. I really don't. That's, that. Ladies and gentlemen, inside the game bread bare knuckle cage, referee Larry Folsom waves off the action with an official time of 2 minutes 36 seconds of round number two, declaring the winner by way of technical knockout, King Bow Joe.